we're going to take a door panel off today and look for a, a, a locking ground issue. But what this video is really about is getting the door panel off. There's a couple of hidden fasteners and a couple of things that just pop out. This little triangle up here just pops out like that. There's three little clips on it. On the bottom panel, two twist uh, counterclockwise to loosen, tips out. And it'll pop off the hinges there and there. And the door handle here, grab the underside and twist that out. It comes off. A couple of tabs in this end, so you want to pull the, the top side out first from the bottom. And these switches just pull up a little. There we go. And there's a clip right there that catches. So that comes up and it's out of the way. We'll go ahead and disconnect that wire. There we go. Set that down. And then we need a Torx bit, which I think is a T30. Yeah, 30 would be the proper one. 27 is gonna be close enough. And the other one is all the way in here. Okay, now once those two screws are out, this will just lift up. And it comes out. Now our uh, window wire is trapped under this white cable, so we'll slide it that way to wiggle it out. There we go. And we can lift that off and kind of set it down here. And now we can work on the window without disconnecting this cable. We can also disconnect this cable. Oops, I'm getting a little lever behind, behind here. I'm pulling out on the, the plastic part while I pry out on the metal part at the same time. And there it is. And this little yellow clip is gonna rotate out of the way. So the wire comes straight out of the top. Then we can set this off to the side. But everything looks clean and proper here. Huh. While we've got it open, we'll give it a little lubrication now. It could be the fuse box under the steering wheel where the door lock fuses. So the central the timing is, unit has a lot to do with the, uh, our central locking unit is under the driver's seat too. Yeah. Okay, wherever the be. fuse is for it. All right, let's put that door panel back on then. So first it'll hook on the bottom. This rail hooks on that rail. Like so. And that wire goes back into the yellow hole. Of course, my hand is gonna be all in the way. The yellow clip swings back around on, snaps onto the wire, and then the blue slides right into there. It's got a little track there where the blue snaps in. But before we snap that in, put our window wires through the hole so we don't have to struggle with those. Like so. And that snaps back in. It sits back on the hooks down tight, wires aren't pinched, everything looks proper. This little triangle just three clips and it snaps back on. Bottom of the door. Clips back on. Before we get too far, put these back in.
Just snug on those. Top goes in first. And the click goes back into place down here. That end goes in first. Like it was never out. Bill just fixed my sliding door and he showed us a trick about lubricating the door and we'd like to show you that too because not too many people know. Sliding door handles breaking all the time. This part, the plastic part inside here breaks because everything, all the metal parts inside there get stiff because they're not lubricated. This is a lubrication hole. Little squirt, little squirt. So it kind of go for low, go for high, bend the straw. Try to keep the mess inside the door, not in the door jam like I just did showing you. That'll make your door handle last a lot longer. Perfect. 